So as we've read, we know that the 1920s were, they were good for the United States. They're called the Roaring Twenties. A lot was happening. Not everything was great. But it was a good, it was a productive time. And then directly following that comes the Great Depression. So the Great Depression, um, it had several causes. Some people say that the biggest one, most people say the biggest one, was the stock market crash that scared a lot of people. Um, Banks closed. It was a financial crisis, so money became a big issue. But some of the things that had been leading up to that was farmers, um, they had new technologies. They were able to produce more goods, but then they kept producing too many. So there was such a high supply of crops from farmers that the um, the value of them went down. So farmers started and um, they started losing money and going bankrupt because um, because their their goods weren't worth as much and they couldn't make enough. They couldn't make money. They also um, technology changed it to where. In factories, fewer workers were needed, so that was cheaper. So then more people were out of a job. So more people were out of a job because not as many employees were needed. And then companies and factories started paying even less because now getting a job was super competitive. So people were willing to work for less money if it meant that they could have a job. And so because our farmers are going bankrupt, um, our unemployment level is super, super high, and people, a lot of, you know, people aren't making as much money, even the people that are working, they're working for less money than they might have before. Now people are having a hard time affording, you know, groceries and their their normal bills. So those prices start to drop because people, they drop to a level where people can afford. And so during all this, during the Great Depression, her, uh, President Hoover had just become president. So he was fresh into his presidency when the Great Depression hit. Um, and he, he kind of stood back and just kind of thought everything would work itself out and didn't intervene. And that didn't really happen. So his hands-off approach maybe let the Depression go on for longer. Um, it definitely made it to where he was not a popular president and was not elected for a second term. And as if the Great Depression wasn't bad enough on the farmers that you know were still able to make it, then out in the Midwest in the Great Plains, the Dust Bowl hit. So there was a horrible, horrible, horrible drought, no water, and it was it got so dusty because it was so dry that the dust would make it to where you couldn't see anything. The farmers definitely couldn't grow anything. It added, uh, it was, if you ever heard the saying, the straw that broke the camel's back, it was definitely, definitely getting close to that. It was like people couldn't take one more thing between the Great Depression and now the Dust Bowl, it was like they couldn't really keep their head above water.